can I get new vices after I get rid of the ones that I know are present in my life? You get rid of your vices, I'm done. I do this, this is my vice. What do you go to, what do you go do? The way I, the way I define vices for the, for the sake of self-development, of becoming the better you, of becoming the version of you that you respect and admire, is what you go do to avoid the things that you know you should be doing that you don't wanna do. How do you keep busy? Or when shit's not going your way, and you're pouting, you're having a fit, you feel upset, you feel uh, aggravated, you feel irritated, angry, what do you go do? Because it doesn't have to be uh, one of the vices that we're taught, you know, in, in, in growing up, like, oh, gambling, oh, drugs, all oh, this, smoking, whatever, drinking, it, it's, that's something, that's not for this, it could be, it could be, but a lot of us have these vices that are hidden, that are acceptable, work can be a vice. Cleaning could be a vice. Reading could be a vice. Researching and, and, and watching uh, videos that sound so important, especially if they're related to like work or, or, or something that you're into that's seen as important. Family, how to, how to uh, resolve issues with family, a course that you're taking, go get more involved in the course. That could be a vice because it's helping you avoid which you should be facing, which you should be doing. Okay, so now, same saying on the topic here, because I just recently had talked about it too, is like, what, one of the key things you gotta consistently forever, because I say forever, because anytime I let off the gas, me personally, I start regressing, I start slipping up a little bit. Remember, I'm not that, I'm not that, uh, I'm not a veteran in the game yet, as far as making progress. I'm, I'm pretty new, I'm months into this. Like, with the last, with the last, piece of the puzzle that was missing actually it's been over a year year and six months coming up actually this month is going to be a year and six months a year and six months that i actually said that last piece which was the diet i started in um in may so i think right about now is a year and a half or maybe more i don't know anyways the point is that i'm not that and i've made a lot of progress one of the main things that just like right away just stands out i lost 45 pounds that i didn't know i had as extra weight so when you when you when you um, be careful with the new vices, I want to stay on topic here. That's one of the things that I'm really working on doing. So you have exercise, diet, wake up time, listen to the voice of your conscience, and then the last one that I added for myself, I share with you is continuously look for new vices. Your old vices are rooted. Those have been there forever. Those are the ones that once you start on this program and you start listening to what I'm telling you, what other similar voices tell you, I was like, hey, you know what? You got to wake up. You got to exercise every day, multiple times a day to keep your vibration high. You got to diet to, uh, to uh, strengthen the voice of your conscience. Listen to the guide of your conscience. It's telling you what to do, what not to do. Wake up time. You just have more time to be grateful for being alive. And those three things are all sacrifice. They're minusing stuff. The exercise, you're, you're sacrificing rest. The diet, you're, you're sacrificing food. The wake up time, you're sacrificing sleep. And those three things we love. So by sacrificing them, we get rewarded. We build discipline, first of all. We physically build discipline because we're doing the things that we don't wanna do. Who doesn't wanna rest more? Who doesn't wanna eat more? Who doesn't wanna sleep more? We're doing the things we don't wanna do when we don't wanna do them, but we know that we should. So as a prize, as a gift, or gifted confidence. That comes from a higher power. Staying on topic. So, you get rid of your vices. Oh man, I used to, uh, people pleaser, man. I used to go try to make people laugh, go try to do stuff for other people so I can get a pat on the back and get praise and make them feel good. <clears throat> that was one of my vices. Got rid of it. No more people pleasing at all. Man, you don't do nice things for others? Yes, I do. But for a period of time, once, once I realized that that was one of my vices, I did completely just stop. Yeah, you could say you didn't do nice things for people. No, no, because it was a vice and I needed to clearly just stop and say, this ain't happening no more. Once I had control of it and knew that I wasn't doing it to people, please, I was just doing it to do nice things for someone, then it was different. I gave it a different meaning. I gave it a different um, intention. So now, should you look for keep a lookout for your for any possible new vices yes they may not come around often it was a a while for me 
um, probably the, just recently, just recently, right now, right before I turned on the camera, I realized this issue that I was having and I was like, that's it. That was a new vice that was trying to creep up. And I did, I didn't, I did, um, embrace it for a few days, probably like two weeks. If I had a guess but before, yeah, 10 to 14 days. And it right away, I started regressing. I started noticing like, man, I mean, now that I tasted progress, I know what progress tastes like. I know what success starts tasting like. Like, shit, you're not gonna take this away from me. I notice when it's gone. And it took maybe like two or three days where I was like, hey, where's that, where's that feeling? And not just the feeling of progress, the feeling of confidence, but also like around me is like, why, why am I not, not? Why am I not seeing that? Dang, this is happening. Dang, look at that. I'm killing it here. Dang, I'm killing it there. Kill, and all parts of my life, I'm just killing it and killing it and killing it. And all of a sudden, like in a matter of, like I said, two, three days. Like, hey, what happened to all that killing it? What's going on here? I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know I wasn't paying attention enough to see if a vice was creeping, a new vice was creeping in. And it was procrastination I used to be a procrastinator not hardcore but I used to like just things that weren't like at the top of my list could be done by in my brain could be done by somebody else or they'll just get done later or they're fine it won't make a difference I need to stay at the task at hand what's important to me right now which typically in my old self was just like work 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 because remember, I wasn't making any progress. And I thought the solution to progress was do more work. 26 hours a day. Let's go. And neglect everything else. Reflected my relationships with my wife, with my family, with everybody. I mean, it was just, it was, it was no good. Once I fixed that, boom, right away everything starts getting better. You know, you're killing it here, you're killing it here, you're killing it here. Now this one though, this one was different. This was procrastination. I would, because I had already not seen like ignoring things as just, it wasn't a vice then, it was just the way I had programmed it. It was my brand, it was my, my my belief system, the way I thought it was. Like, of course I'm not gonna go pick up that broom that's on the ground, I got stuff to do. And it wasn't that I was procrastinating, it was just I didn't see, like, I didn't see that I had to do that. I had to go do the important things to make, because I was so desperate for progress, because I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'd make this tiny little bit of progress with this much work, and I thought that's the way it was supposed to be, or I was gonna have a breakthrough, till eventually I fought on, it was just like, I had low vibe and I wasn't listening to my conscience. I had to raise my vibration. Anyways, take it, staying on topic. I started noticing that, like, hey, what happened to all the killing it? And I started looking around, like, wait a minute, let me take my own advice. Am I doing my exercise? Hell yeah, I'm tearing it up. Um, diet. But yeah, matter of fact, I actually, I'm having trouble. Yesterday, last night, I was like, man, I gotta eat all this, I'm not even hungry. But I had to hit my numbers, so I, yeah, I am sticking to my diet. Wake up time, waking up at an uncomfortable time? Absolutely, I'm tuning that up so well. It's I've never I've, it's never been like this. The fact that where I'm like adjusting, like where am I at at night? What do I have to get done? What time am I gonna get out? What time am I gonna get up? Uh, then minus this time for uncomfortability. Got it. Next day, boom, I'm up, rubbing my face, rubbing my eyes, like hell yeah, I'm proud of myself as I get up. So I'm doing all three. What's next? Am I listening to my conscience? One hundred. Which is why I started listening to this. It said, pay attention to what you preach. Those new vices, you just started talking about that recently. Do you have any new vices? And right away, like a freaking flash movie, like like just pictures started popping up. That piece of fence, the little, little I don't know what you call it, the little bar on the fence, the little, what is it? Picket on the fence that fell over. That every time you go take the one of the pooches one of the fur babies to pee you see it way in the back it fell it's fallen it's been on the ground for like five six seven ten days and you haven't picked it up you know first thing i think about when i see it oh i'll go grab the screw the screw gun grab a screw put it back in sweet cheeks my roddy she goes where she's not supposed to go because why because that piece of wood is not up and I see her in there every day, and I was like, oh, I gotta do that, oh, I gotta do that. And straight out, it's not the, ah, oh, somebody else is gonna do it. No, it's the, ah, I'll do it later. 
ah, I'll do it later. The ah, I'll do it later was, begin was beginning to become my new procrastination vice. And that with a lot of things, washing my car, getting my eyebrows done, uh, cutting my hair. Okay, so my machine is out of commission. Then uh, you clean it or uh, go outside to clean it or go get a haircut. You know, what's the big deal? Go get a haircut. Ah, oh, but you know, I got a, I got, you know, I, I, the, the excuses. Once you start stumbling over your words, those are all excuses. Stop stumbling over your words, get to an answer, own it and say, I would, but because of this. So at least it's not procrastination anymore. At least it's a uh, um, solid decision on your part. That way, if it's a good decision, you own it. If it's a bad decision, you own it. So look out for new vices. I won't go down the list of everything because it'll just get boring. You get the point. Cleaning my windows on my car, dusting my car. I didn't even have a dust rag in my car. You'd seen it before in my other videos, but I had taken it down to wash it or whatever. It was time to give it a wash. But because I was starting to build new bad habits, bringing them back, or they were becoming new new habits that were no good, two weeks of not having a dust rag in here. How am I going to keep my car clean? Because the version of me that I would admire always has his car clean. You don't even have a microfiber dust uh, rag in here, towel in here. How's that going to happen? What are you going to do, use your hands? Come on. Do, do new vices creep in? Yes. And we make them seem so important. We give ourselves so much value that we think like, oh, we're, we're it, we're, we're, we can't be doing that, we're so busy. Now I'm sure there's different kind of vices that could kick in, all kinds of them. I'm just sharing my procrastination was starting to creep up and become my new vice by listening to my conscience because my vibration was high, my conscience said, hey, go practice what you preach. Go listen, go see, go check, see if you got new vices because that feeling that you're getting, I'm sending you that feeling that, oh, what happened to all the killing that I was doing that I'm not doing? Yeah, cause you're not, it's true. You're not killing it anymore. It's been three days of you not killing it. I'm making you feel that, that pressure in your chest, that taste in your mouth, that lump in your throat, like, oh, what happened? I was doing good. Yeah, hey, I'm sending that, like I did it for many years. This is my conscience telling me. Now you know what progress tastes like, because you finally figured it out. But remember that new thing you discovered? The, hey, will new, vi new vices creep in? Guess what? A new vice is creeping in. Figure out what it is. I did, it's procrastination. First thing I did this morning when I got out here, cold, couldn't feel my hands burnt, I cleaned my windows right away. I'm gonna get my car washed later, better believe it. What am I gonna do when I go home to have uh, something to eat for lunch? I'm gonna go grab my screw gum and I'm gonna go fix that. I'm gonna sweep up the leaves real quick that I can because I have time because the version of me that I would respect and admire does that. And he hadn't because a new vice came in. Started to. I clipped that thing, got rid of it procrastination now procrastination may not be yours but the point of the video is the point of the message is pay attention exercise diet wake up time listen to the voice of your conscience and pay attention for new vi get rid of all your vices first but once you get rid of them and you start making progress taste and feel how delicious progress feels success and then it can be taken away if you don't continue to put in the work Another way it could be taken away is if a new vice comes in and starts holding you back from putting in the work. What work? The doing the things you don't wanna do when you don't wanna do them, but you know that you should. Stay on it, pay attention for them. Pay attention for them new vices that may try to creep in. 